Hey guys, Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Uh, before we start, I want to let you know that I'm currently working on a full Cubase 8.5 course. It will probably be on Udemy, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And it will be really affordable since I really want to help the new people and uh, people that are not as wealthy. So it's going to be a full course and I want to include a lot of tips and tricks to help you guys become better recording and mixing engineer and better at Cubase in general. So I hope you are excited. I'm really excited about this and I will give you more information in my upcoming videos. Uh, now today I want to talk about the locators and now that might sound stupid but there's a lot to know about the locators. I will always remember the very first time I used Cubase. I recorded something, I wanted to export it as an mp3 and it didn't work and I didn't know what to do and it took me 30 minutes to find out that I had to set my left and right locators. Uh, this basically tells Cubase what portion of the session you want to export and you can do that by manually just clicking on the left locator and setting it and clicking on the right locator to set it. And there's also a keyboard shortcut. If you control click anywhere in the ruler, it will set the left locator where you, where you click. And if you alt click, it will set the right locator. Now there's also another keyboard shortcut. Let's say I want the locators to be set to the length of this event right here. I select it and press the P key on my keyboard. So now, as you can see, the locators are set to the length of this event. So that being said, if you press Control A or Command A on a Mac to select everything and you press P, it will set the locators to the full length of your audio events. That's really useful. Now there's more than that to the locators. You can use them to uh, loop a certain part. Let's say I'm editing this vocal right here. I can select it, press P, enable the loop uh, by clicking right here in the ruler or just clicking on the uh, loop button in right here in the upper bar um, and press play. There's actually a faster way to do this. I will just set the locators anywhere to show you if you press shift G, it will set the locators to the selected event, it will enable the loop, and it will start playing automatically. So let's try it out. Yep, so with just one keyboard shortcut, uh, you can do those three things. So that's really useful. Now, if I want to record this part over and over, maybe I want to uh, enable the punch in and punch out. That's also uh, really useful because I can set my locators, enable the punch in and punch out. Now in Cubase 8.5, we have separate locators for punch in and punch out. That is really useful because uh, if I want to record this part right here, uh, I can set the regular locators so it will start looping before so I can get in the mood and now it will start recording right here, stop here, and I can listen to a little bit after and it goes back there. So that's really useful since I'm usually working alone when recording my own music. So uh, I can just enable the loop recording and do this. It was super useful. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section. As always, if you like those videos, click the like button and subscribe. A link to my website is in the description. Thank you guys and see you in next video. Bye guys.